Love is Blind. It's a reality TV show where they put people in pods, they won't let them see each other, and they have to get to know each other by just talking and learning about each other's personalities and interests and what they like and what they say they look like and who they say they really are. And they meet each other, and there's usually like a cringe moment between someone where they go, ooh, you know, or, or whatever. They <laughs> fall madly in love. But apparently something is up because Mary is here with us today, and she's got some things she wants to tell. Well, Mary, why are we making this video? There's been a few viral moments from uh, this season, season six. I mean, there have been for all of the previous seasons also, but this is just the one that's out now. And um, there's been some stuff that I've included here that's become its own kind of meme that you may have seen without actually seeing the show. So I'm here to just fill you in on what everyone's giggling about. So you're in the know. <laughs> all right. So we got the cast, Chelsea, Matthew, Trevor, and Jeremy. Mm-hmm. Is that how you say it? It's Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, parents, you know, I understand. You have your kid and you're like, oh, I want my kid to be unique and special. So you name him something like Karasane, but spelt like kerosene or Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy. And, and, and you're, just, you're just weird. Stop it. <laughs> celebrity lookalike game. Which celebrity hot throb, heartthrob is this? Yeah. Who is that, Dane? Uh... <laughs> Selena Gomez. Huh? Selena Gomez. <laughs> Did you guess Megan Fox? Oh my gosh! I, I can't. I can't recognize her unless I see her thumb. That's the only way I can recognize <laughs> her. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, That's me. People are like shame on you, Ken. She's got weird thumbs. All right. Have you ever, like? Oh yeah. Wow. Yep. All right. So why are we talking about Megan Fox? Because next we have Chelsea. She's thirty-one. She's a flight attendant. And an event planner. She's looking for her forever person, travel buddy, best friend, and husband. So there was a moment in the pods where Chelsea and Jimmy were talking. And she said that she often gets told that she looks like Megan Fox. And then she also really strongly followed it up saying, <laughs> it's just because I have light hair and dark eyes. I don't see it. But other people tell me that I look like her, Right. But dark eyes. What do you mean dark eyes? Oh, what other one, other one. Other, she has yeah, light yeah. eyes and dark light hair. Light eyes and dark Sorry. hair. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, now we got Jimmy. Yes, so Jimmy latched on to that little thing in his little monkey brain. He caught onto it and he said, I am dating Megan Fox. Like that is why he ended up choosing Chelsea because he was talking to another girl as well. But it was so <laughs> obvious that in his brain, he was like, Okay, this girl looks like Megan Fox. I've got to lock it in. I've got to propose to this girl. <laughs> and then I've got a clip for you here. This is the moment where uh, him doing his little aside after they met in person. Yeah, please, she definitely lied to me on some uh, how she looks. Chelsea told me she looks like Megan Fox. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> and, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> 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 this side is so disappointed. Well, you know what I mean. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't yeah, matter. Who, who, who really cares about that anyway? You know? <laughs> good save, good save. You didn't suddenly become the bad guy in the situation. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, wow. Dane? You, do you see the resemblance? I mean, you see it? <laughs> Mary said apparently she's in here. She's mixed in. You know, do, oh. do you see the the ones that are her and not Megan Fox? I just Fox? thought that was six pictures of Chelsea, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> True, Megan Fox almost doesn't look like Megan Fox anymore these days. So yeah, I get that. <laughs> yeah, the internet has really taken it upon themselves to make the final decision as to whether or not she looks like Megan Fox. And she is being roasted. Like people are being <laughs> cruel to her. And I, I honestly feel bad because she didn't say, oh my God, I look just like Megan Fox. She said that people have told her oh, really? that she looks <laughs> like hear her she can and then she that she, wants she, she fully she was, she was so quick to be like i don't see it i don't see the resemblance i don't, I don't think i look like megan fox but everyone's just like oh she just said it so that he would pick her like she's she's been <laughs> torn to shreds poor girl Whatever. she's not gonna like but i didn't say it even though i brought it up and told him that other people so <laughs> meaning he would think that she looks like megan fox please Got her. <laughs> all right next we have matthew here Oh, Matthew, he's a 37 senior financial advisor, emotionally guarded. When life presents you with an opportunity which takes that weakness and exposes wait. When life presents you with an opportunity which takes that weakness and exposes it, how can you turn it down if it's really important to find that special someone? 
bit of a convoluted quote there. Yeah, what? Well, <laughs> I have no idea what he's he just said. His emotionally guardedness as his weakness. Oh, he sees it, my, my, my emotionally guardedness it is his weakness, and mm-hmm. you got to expose it. Yeah, okay, I got you. That was whatever. Very, very, very <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> also, a quote here I don't think there's anything that I wouldn't sacrifice to find the right person, and my commitment to this experiment is evidence of that. Gives off very threatening serial killer vibes. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> All right. World's worst dates. Throughout the dating process, Matthew sat with a notebook full of questions, made the girls pick a number, and would then ask them the question that corresponded with that number. He would not answer his own questions. He just wanted to interrogate the girls. When one girl took her time giving a detailed answer he got up and left without saying a word. Like he, she was talking and he just left the pods and she doesn't know. She can't see him. They're not notified when they leave. Like it's just, it's cruel, right? Wow. Uh, He made all the girls incredibly uncomfortable aside from two women, both named Amber. Luckily one of them went by AD. He fed both women the exact same script and love Bob love bombed them with grandiose statements about how he couldn't live without them and he wanted to leave with them and marry them immediately. They eventually compared their notes and came to the same realisation. He wasn't the man for them. Oh, wow. So there has been so much discussion about Matthew and people... He's a psychopath. People really were trying to, like, diagnose him, people hardcore defending him, saying, like, Maybe he's on the spectrum, and oh, so he doesn't end please, social like, cues. Like, like, that's, that's because they look at him and go, oh, you know, he's, he's kind of cute. You know, he makes some excuses for him. If this was like an ugly dude saying all that stuff, my God. <laughs> right, exactly. You'll never hear from him again. Let me read you <laughs> off my questions that I refuse to answer. <laughs> yeah. Give this man a neck beard. Give him a neck beard. <laughs> Give him a neck beard. Get him out of here. So it wasn't just the women that he was rude to and that he made feel uncomfortable. He was rude to the men inside the pods as well. Like there was one moment where his notebook was on a table or something and one of the other guys was like, hey, you left your notebook there. He went back, grabbed it, like snatched it away and huffed off without saying anything. No, like, oh, thank you. Uh, uh." Uh, He doesn't drink. And so whenever any of the cast was sharing a toast or drinking together, Matthew was pacing in the corner looking just mad at everybody all the time. So (laughs) it was just really bad vibes. Everyone is very confused. Uh, It could just be the editing. Emotionally guarded. Yeah. Yeah. Emotionally stunted. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. It it could just be the editing. They could have really just like portrayed him to look this way. Uh, But there's just a lot of discourse on both sides. People thinking this man is a serial killer and other people thinking, where he just doesn't know how to communicate socially with other human beings. He's 37, he's 37 <laughs> years old and he's a senior financial advisor, meaning he works <laughs> over people. Yeah. Like he's an alpha bro, probably a fin- oh, senior financial yeah. advisor. He's out there like, yeah, you gotta be alpha, man. That's the, that's the vibe I get from him. How, how dare these people drink in front of me? <laughs> you drinking? You guys living your own lives and making your own decisions? <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. All right. Uh, Jeremy is next. <clears throat> 32, and he's intra logistics. It's a branch of logistics that deal with the organization, the flow of information and materials within a given company. Okay, so moving the boxes around in the company. That's what he's about. Gotcha. A deal breaker for me in a relationship is someone who's not genuine, he says. Oh, Lord. Okay, where's this guy? <laughs> he's in here. There we go. He proposed to Laura on the show, and the two are currently engaged. There you go. There you go, Jeremy, my boy. But not so genuine. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, you let me down. Jeremy's ex future mother in law went onto social media. So she specifically went into a Love is Blind ex- Facebook <laughs> group. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, went onto social media to reveal that he was engaged to her daughter and living with her when he applied to be on the show. So you can see their post on the left there. Someone was engaged and living with someone when applying for this. Oh, he's good, but but he's going to be a reality TV star, Mary. He's going to be famous. Oh. <laughs> wow! He's, he's going to the big time, you know. Look at the girl. Look, he's got he's got his he's got a pretty blonde girl. He's upgraded, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What do we figure out? She's only there for the show as well, and leaves him. Jeremy addressed this in a video, saying that he and his fiance broke up a number of weeks. What he can't keep up with a number of weeks. I don't know about you, but when someone. Says, when someone says <laughs> weeks and not months, that tells me 
Three at most. Yeah, well, three what, weeks at most. What number? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, it's like two days before. <laughs> and he said the relationship was not kept a secret at all on the show, but that it had been cut out during editing. Oh, yeah. So true, he yeah. claims that on all of these dates that were filmed and with Laura, that he told her... I literally just broke up with my fiance last week, mm. uh, but for some reason the editors did him dirty and cut it all out. So I don't know. Uh, to your right here, you can see that his ex fiance also replied. So this is on Laura's Instagram page. Mm-hmm. Yep. And she said, Did he ever tell you about his ex fiance right before you? Surely not. Of the house that we sold a week or two before he filmed for this show. Just want all the info out there. You and Sarah Ann, who was another girl that he was talking to, uh, should know. I'm happy to share proof. Peep the video of Layla and him in the snow on his Instagram. That was at our house. And that's me recording the video and talking. So it's not just the mother-in-law, future mother-in-law and future wife that um, are publicly now coming out and saying... Hello, we exist. <laughs> oh, I, I just love it. Well, a number of weeks, but he also never applied, but rather he was recruited by a scout from the network who reached him by an Instagram. I mean, yes. Yeah, yeah, that was his claim. It's just, it's I not his applied. fault. It's not his fault. He didn't apply. He it didn't want to do it. They, they so made him. Is, baby. And then they edited him in a way that wouldn't, you know, he was <laughs> apparently okay with because he's not complaining about it. He's he, just saying he's that the they cut it out. <laughs> he's yeah. the next big head, bro. Somebody's got to fill the slot. He's going to be. A reality TV star, Dane. He's leaving intro logistics and he's moving up in the world. Oh, God. Oh, what a loser. All right. Trevor. Trevor. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. I already know who Trevor is. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I can just I can just look at Trevor. Trevor <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's 31. He's a project manager. His 20s were full of hookups, messing around, and not taking relationships seriously. And now he's ready to settle down, find a wife, and have some kids. Yeah, that, the haircut he has already tells me that he's not, not right, in his shaved exactly. arms. Those are two things that he's not ready to do. Uh, Trevor's worked with a caretaker for children with disabilities directly out of college. I'm uh, I'm very patient with them, he says. I love interacting with kids with special needs, and I worked at camps with an array of kids with Down syndrome and are an autism spectrum. I mean, like I, said, I, like I already knew who he was by just looking at him. He's the guy that goes and works with kids in need so he can brag about working with kids in needs. He's also a project manager. You know, that's this yep. kind of the job. So anyway. Yep. He tells you about it while he flexes. Everybody fell in love with Trevor. He seemed incredibly sweet. He would be bragging all about his charity work. He's obviously like a big, fit guy. Uh, so a lot of people were just like, oh, my gosh, I love Trevor. He he's such himself. a teddy bear. He he's he's a real Wreck-It Ralph looking boy. Like a lot of women <laughs> really enjoy that. So Trevor won the audience over with his love of animals, children and charity work. He didn't end up matching with anyone, although he was in Chelsea's top two. But he did get a good amount of screen time and being on the show had a very positive impact on his social media followings. A lot of women flocked to his Instagram. I mean, because he was on there being all sweet and then he didn't propose to anybody. So, of course, all the girls like, oh, my gosh, he's single. He had yeah, said, was hooking up with everyone before he came on the show. Yeah. single after the show. Yeah, Woo! whoa. He had set himself up well to be on a future show uh. and continue a career in the reality TV social media influencer space. He did a really good job of it. Wow. Right. And then what happened? None of it was real. <gasps> Shocking! <laughs> oh my gosh! No oh, way! No. Who was surprised? <laughs> Too bad his entirely his entire personality was completely fake. He had a serious relationship for the entirety of his time on the show. They were together when he applied, when he went off for filming, and stayed together when he returned to home. <laughs> well, wow. at least you know, at least he's got somebody. You know, ha- oh, had continue on. Okay, <clears throat> never mind. They broke up when he ghosted. <laughs> when he ghosted her right as the show aired, most likely due to the sudden massive influx of messages from viewers wanting to try their luck with everyone's favorite teddy bear. <laughs> wow. Oh, is this a picture? Oh, is this what is this? These are all the receipts that his ex oh, posted. Oh, all the receipts. Is this who is this between? So between Trevor and his girlfriend. In this message exchange, he is on his way to film the show. I love you so much, honey. I'm excited for it. Excited for being on the show, but more excited to get back to you after and start our life together. Did you get my text? <laughs> she asks, "Did you land? Just did. Did you find other people on the plane doing the show?" 
The guy at first asked me, talked to me the whole time and established why we are here and agreed on it. And what was that? No matter what, we are not getting married, <laughs> lol. And his girlfriend replies, nice. 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 Okay, and so then these messages were the first things he sent her when he got off of filming. So they filmed for 10 days, I believe, and then this is the first thing. Nala, do you still love me? Pumpkin, I'm crying. (laughs) Can I call you in 30 minutes? I missed you so much. I love you more than anything in this world, and I'm going to marry you. She was like, yes, call me. I I can't wait. wait. (laughs) Uh, And now he's talking Uh about what happens on the show, so... Uh, there was a girl and she left me to, on the last day for another guy. Her name was Chelsea, who was in the beginning of this slideshow. Uh, Chelsea also passed away. He's talking about his dog. His dog and the girl he was talking to are both named Chelsea. But his dog died? Yes, unfortunately. Oh. While, while he was filming, his dog died. Um, and then they're oh. talking about the fact that uh, Nala already knows and that, you know, she's a long-term girlfriend. She's in cahoots with his mom and everything, right? They talk to each other. Um, yep, talked to her. And yeah, the girl who was my final match was named Chelsea. And, and I gave her Chelsea's collar as my item. There was this moment where he brought his dog's collar and he was like, I love this dog so much. And he gave it, gifted it to Chelsea, the girl who was, he was going to be engaged oh. to, which everybody saw as being like, oh my gosh, so, so sweet. Is it? Um, bit weird. I, <laughs> yeah. I think bit weird. <laughs> my, my dog died and I love it here have its collar. Put it on. You <laughs> yeah. could be my new dog, I guess. I don't know, what does that mean? She hadn't even died yet because she died during filming. He didn't know she had died. He preemptively brought his dog's Oh, he, he probably, if, it must have been in bad shape or something. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. So, based on your silence, I'm preparing for the worst. You've made me wait seven days without speaking a word to me. I'll text you in the morning. I don't want to have this talk. Why would you want to hear what I have to say after I've treated you like this all way? <laughs> Why are you making me talk about it after I'm being very obvious with how I'm treating yeah. you? Yeah, like I guess I knew exactly who this dude was wow. as soon as I saw him. Wow. It's not, it's not, it's not me. It's I mean it's not you, it's it's me. It's you know? me, yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. But instead of ending the relationship with, you know, respect, as Nala's asking for here, like actually talking to her and saying, look, uh, this is crazy. I didn't expect so many women to be chasing me right now and I kind of just want to be single. Uh, He just ghosted her for a full week after the show started airing. He just stopped talking to her. And then, yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? No, not that guy. Uh, And then um, these are pictures. She obviously showed a lot of proof. Like she exposed all the messages and photos of them together. She was like, yes, we were very serious for how many years? I can't remember, maybe two or three or something. Yeah, so that's what he did as as, as soon as people started messaging him was run away from his girlfriend. I don't understand why people would ever go on a reality TV show to find like a meaningful relationship anyway. Well, he like, did. Yeah. Oh, he, oh didn't. I mean, he didn't, but like, like that's like the whole thing they sell you when you like, you're watching right. the show is like, right. oh, love is blind. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a TV show and no one's there for like, I mean, there may be a couple of people that are actually there for that reason, but it's, it's their last chance at love though. It's their last chance. It's their last getting, chance at love. <laughs> it last, yeah. There's no other chances ever, you know, unless you, and Trevor and you just go on the show and keep yourself available so that you know <laughs> so Trevor did what my boy Jeremy wanted to do that's crazy <laughs> yeah, that's crazy yeah Trevor accomplished it because <laughs> uh, like what, what's gonna change nothing he's still gonna have people message him anyway it's like because yeah. people like people that even know aren't gonna care but he's so fine though. you know I can forgive him I can fix him <laughs> yeah so in conclusion the casting director did a terrible job of screening the cast I mean did they well, yeah, because they did they, did they care? To only, well, that's true. Maybe they yeah. just don't care. Yeah. But their job is to put single people on the show and multiple people who. Are yeah, they they know they know what they're doing. Yeah. And now I, I wouldn't even be surprised if any of this was like they knew about it and just didn't care because like, well, more people are going to talk about it. The editing is just as shady as you'd expect. Of course, it's reality TV, so it always is. And weird, terrible people are everywhere. (laughs) Thank you, man. Smiley face. (laughs) High five. (laughs) Now we know more about Love is Blind and... Wow. Well, I'll probably never watch the show. And so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you enjoyed that or if you have more interesting details, let us know in the comments. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay touch with my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, what a loser. All right. <laughs>